Okay, so last talk we talked about how to um, make a toric system using a, a spherical lens and a like a plus two axis one eighty like a plus cylindrical lens. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do the same basic concept, but instead of having a plus cylindrical lens. We're going to use a minus cylindrical lens, and there's you know there's a lot of debate about why some people use plus and some people use minus cylindrical lenses, and unfortunately, a lot of it goes to training. So in general, ophthalmologists and techs that are trained by ophthalmologists use a plus cylinder system, and I think the concept is you know we want to give something to a patient to solve their problem, um, whereas optometry. Uh, in their schools and their training, they tend to learn in minus cylinder. And I think historically, I might be wrong, but historically it goes back to the idea of what are you taking out of the lens in order to get your patient to see better? What are you grinding away? So if you're removing something, you want to think in minus cylinder. At one level, it's easier to think in plus cylinder because I think positive numbers are easier to conceptualize than negative numbers. But in another way, it's easier to think in minus cylinder. And the reason is more people are myopic than hyperopic. So when they're myopic, you're giving a minus. So it makes sense if they have astigmatism, if they have cylinder, that you're going to give them minus cylinder on top of their minus sphere. So both, both are right. The problem is if ophthalmologists or people trained in a, in a plus cylinder setting and optometrists or people who are trained in a minus cylinder setting work together. Four opters, as we'll learn, tend to have only have either plus cylinders or minus cylinders. So the clinics will usually have just one system. Um, usually, sometimes we'll have a minus cylinder four opter if an optometrist is the only one to use a particular room. But the charting is all one style and the exam rooms are all one style. So the person who learns in the opposite system, like if you're in an ophthalmology run practice, it's all plus cylinder. The person who learned in minus cylinder has to just kind of, you know, relearn that system, which can add to some confusion and can create some errors. Okay, so let's talk about spherical and minus cylinder. You basically understand the concept here. It's just the opposite. So if we want to solve for this one that's written above, plus 5 and plus 3 here, and we want to use a cylindrical lens, minus cylinder, and a spherical lens, how do we do it? Well, when we've solved for plus cylinder, we we're adding. So we looked at the lowest number and made that the spherical lens. So with minus cylinder, we do the opposite. So our um, spherical lens is the highest number. So that would be a plus five sphere. So what's our minus cylinder? Well, what do we need to add to plus five to get plus five? And the answer is nothing, Plano. And then what do we need to add to plus five to get plus three? And what we need to add to it is minus two. Plus five plus minus two equals plus three. So what is this lens? Well, the power we know is minus two, and the axis, the plano lies along the 90 degree meridian, so it's axis 90. So the way we write this is plus five minus two axis 90. So it's plus five and minus two axis 90. It's not plus five minus two axis 90, it's certainly not plus five minus two at 90, it's plus five minus two axis 90. Okay, so let's do another one. And let's do one where the axes are not 90 and 180, just like we did last time. So let's do one where the axis is, say, um, like uh, 110. Let's say this is 110. And what's 110 minus 90 would be. Um, 20. So let's say we have, um, let's say we have minus two here and we have minus one here. Okay. So if we're going to build that, we have to have a spherical and a plus 
cylindrical lens. So what's the highest number on here? Is it minus two or is it minus one? The most positive or the least negative number on there is the minus one. Okay, so that's our spherical lens, minus one, minus one. So that's minus one sphere. That's the spherical lens. So we're going to add a minus cylinder lens. So what do we need to add to minus one to give us minus one? Plano or zero. So up there we put the plano. What do we need to add to minus um, one? Let's put the minus one over here too so we match. What do we need to add to minus one to get minus two? We need to add minus one. Minus one minus one equals minus two. So the cylindrical lens, the power we know is minus one. And the axis is where the plano is, which is along the 110 degree meridian. So it's axis 110. So what we end up with is minus one, minus one, axis 110. So that's how you say um, this in minus cylinder. So the power cross is this, and then the minus cylinder notation is this, and that's called the minus cylinder notation. Okay? And that's how you build a toric system using a spherical and a minus cylindrical lens. Next time we're going to do the same exercise using just two cylindrical lenses and no spherical lenses. Thanks.